Yeah, so leo kuna concept fulani nimesikia hapa. Mupiga leg press but uh, Mike hapa ananiambia kuna training fulani inaitwa inaitwa ni blood occlusion uh, training. Blood occlusion training. Blood occlusion training. Uh-huh. So vile niliwaambia ni poa sana ku train different gyms na watu different una learn vitu different. So Mike wacha atueleze hizo hizi mtu anafaa kufanyaje na iko na benefits gani. Kwa wala same na struggle na mguu. Labda ni msem refu pale mguu yako imekuwa iki challenge. So Mike unaweza to show bro. So blood occlusion training basically ni yeah. training method ya unatumia weight kidogo but unapata maximal effect kwa muscle. So mostly yeah utumika kama msako na injury yeah. eh, blood occlusion but ni very effective sana sana kwa limbs mkono yeah. na mguu. Yeah. So the essence of training ni tuna prevent blood kutoka kwa muscle ukifanya set. So utatumia lesser weight than normally use. So ka uko na shida ya magoti ama nini ukiweka heavy weight na si uchungu. It is it akusaidia. So hapa kitu tunataka tufanye nani ko? Tutaika weight atafanya sets nne za 25 reps with 30 seconds in between. But sasa ile the detail inaitwa the <laughs> ile sukari kwa hiyo set ni ata straighten mguu, atakunja mguu kama ana rest. Ndio to see, to prevent blood from flowing back. Yeah. So to keep prevent in manisha more blood it will more metabolic stress. Yeah. Na tunajua metabolic stress is one of the main drivers za muscle growth. Yeah. Uh, so in enhance sarcoplasmic hypertrophy you to explain later but yeah. there are two types of hypertrophy kuna contractile na sarcoplasmic. So sarcoplasmic ni poa sana sana na kama legs legs ni uh, slow twitch iko na more slow twitch fibers than fast twitch. Yeah. So hii ndio maana bana this is where the man is. So niko acha tuone bro acha tuone bro. Hii ni set kwa 35 so nipatie 25 25 reps. Eh yeah, 25 reps. Okay. Yeah. Utaenda tu na tempo yenye una feel iko sawa na wewe. Sawa. Siku restrict Noma, 